What is up, everybody? My name is Aaron Burr, and welcome to the We All Can Change podcast, where I help others heal this planet to live a more fulfilled and healthier life. And I do all this in a pretty non-extreme, not too serious way. Seriously. <laughs> Today I'm talking about nature. This is episode three. Yeah, we're trucking along here. I'm going to be talking about yeah, getting into the outdoors, the benefits to, to said nature, as well as the impacts of, of getting out there. And, and of course, I'll dive into my favorite ways to get outside because this podcast is really just all about me. And then I'll also share some resources with you uh, to help you get outside and and whatnot. A lot of people tend to be a little overwhelmed initially when they haven't really done a whole lot outside because there's a ton of information and it seems a little scary and a little bit risky. It's pretty basic and so I'll go over that and I'm excited to share it with you. So yeah, it's one of my one of my favorite favorite things to do is be outside. So I'm excited for this episode. I, I definitely love every episode that I talk about, but or every talk topic that I talk about, but uh yeah, this one's special to me and I've been really trying to figure out how to Talk about things that, that get me excited every single week instead of just dishing out content and and making it so that it's, it, may, it may be practical uh, for you and you'll probably learn some things. But if I'm just kind of going through the motions and not super amped about a certain topic, I don't know, it's going to get really old real quick. So, so yeah, I've been trying to hone that in and, and trying to figure out this podcast thing. It's great. <laughs> So we are all nature, right? We are all natural. (laughs) Most of us are. So we're connected to something else, right? We're, We're a part of something bigger. And at the end of the day, that is the biggest thing that I wanna share with you is that we're a part of something way grander and way, way larger than ourselves. And you can believe in whatever, uh, but just looking at the everyday miracles that go on in the natural world, it's, it's crazy. And it's, so it's exciting to, to be a part of something like this. A lot of people have, including myself, put humans in a different category of the natural world, right? When not too long ago, we were more obviously ecocentric, like we're, we were all just a part of everything else. We were just an animal <laughs> not too long ago in the, in the grand scheme of things. So, so yeah, I mean, keep that in mind that, that that's what I'm really trying to push is that we're connected to something else and just getting outside, whatever you do. That's a way to, to get back to those things. You know, a lot, a lot of people haven't really grown up into nature or, or been taught the importance of being outside. And, and some people really don't even have the access to, to those resources or getting outside. So, so I definitely want to share some resources and how to get everyone involved because everyone's going to benefit from this stuff. And so, yeah, speaking of benefits... What are the benefits? Yeah. So for me, at least, definitely less stress. Definitely de-stressing for sure is a thing that I, that I experience outside whatever I'm doing. Even if I'm, if I'm doing something I love like cycling or paddle boarding, something like that. Or if I'm just sitting outside, just, just soaking up some rays or walking around in the woods. I just feel my problems melt away and it's it's amazing. And so I'd love for everyone to be able to experience that with me. Another thing is I think this kind of comes with the st- the stress going down. Uh we think more clearly, of course, so so issues tend to be a little bit more easily resolved when we can think clearer and and having that clarity being being away from everything it'll solve problems in our lives for sure. It's not the one solution to everything. Of course, I don't want to play that, play that card, but, but Hey, I think, I think anyone can, can benefit from, from this. If, if you get outside and, and you have a terrible time and, 
it it impacted your life in a bad way, let me know. <laughs> I haven't heard of that happening unless it's like something, you know, catastrophic. But but if you're just hiking around in the woods, pretty basic. I don't know. I don't know what what bad stuff could happen really. So another thing is is creativity, being outside and just being able to, to step back and, and kind of let your mind just relax and flow. I feel like that just uh, just amps up the creative process. So if any of you are in a creative plateau, definitely try it out. Get outside and, and give it a shot for sure. You, you get a different perspective on, on life in general and you get these different angles that, that you may have not really, not really known or realized uh, in the hustle of life, right? Yeah, I feel like just being a, just being a part of something bigger. You just, you know, you're in, you're outside. You you see trees, you see birds, you see some animals, maybe some uh, some tortoises or something if you're in Florida. <laughs> but yeah, you just being connected to something there's something bigger than you and so your your problems and your issues they seem a little bit smaller just a little bit just enough smaller that that it helps and it helps us helps us create that that new new perspective right oh, cool so yeah it's it's not so much that i want to focus on personal gain and and how to sell the outdoors to you i don't really want to try and do that I know I just talked about benefits and stuff, but but there's so much more than that, right? It's it's just the simple idea of getting outside and having fun, enjoying some actually fresh air. <laughs> Crazy, what is that stuff? <laughs> yeah, just getting outside, having fun, enjoying your life, right? A lot of us a lot of us work all day, and that's what we do. We just work. And hey, kudos to all of you for, for finding a career that you absolutely love. And to those that haven't found that career that they love, don't worry about it. Because there's there's bigger things than that. And and one of them is, is being outside. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really want to dig too much into personal gain and, and measurable impact because it's it feels like it's way bigger than that in a way that I really can't explain. So now I'm kind of asking myself, why did I make a podcast episode about this <laughs> if I can't really talk about it? No, I'll, I'll just try. And and it's, it's a pretty unexplainable feeling, I guess, being outside. It's just something that I hope that, that everyone can experience. Yeah. So my, my favorite ways to get outside are are pretty endless but but let's just dig into some backstory I guess and in, in Arizona where I was born I was camping all the time I was dirt biking pretty much it was pretty much like a camping dirt biking trips that I that I would go on I would also horseback ride so so definitely like desert cowboy stuff for sure <laughs> that's how I broke my collarbone actually I was riding a horse and so I, I don't know what happened, actually. I think it just freaked out and started just full-on sprinting down the dirt road. And I was trying to just jump off because I'm like, I can't stop this thing. I'm like six years old. <laughs> so go to jump off. My leg gets caught in the saddle. So I'm just like dangling, like flopping all over, probably getting hit by its leg or something. <laughs> Explains a lot. <laughs> No, so I so I finally like fell off, broke my collarbone, landed in some cactus. Uh, so so I had some good old thorns in my everywhere, I guess. So that was a good experience. That probably won't happen to you. So it's, <laughs> I hope I'm not just like scaring everyone off. The whole point is to get people outside, and I'm like doing the exact opposite. <laughs> so then I moved to Michigan and started mountain biking. And I really got into racing mountain bikes for sure at first. And so definitely fast paced. But then I started to realize, oh, wow, like this stuff's beautiful. I'm just going to, I wish I could slow down and just kind of walk and just, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, hiking, hiking's a thing. <laughs> so I started hiking a lot from mountain biking, actually. 
and then started backpacking from there. So started camping on my hikes and stuff like that. So, so that really started to slow me down and start to appreciate just these natural wonders and, and start to take it in, really. So I kind of mixed biking with backpacking because I still loved like the flow of, of biking. And it's still a good enough speed that, that it's fun, but then it's slow enough that you can really still take things in. So it's great. You don't have to be hauling ass the whole time. <laughs> uh, so I got into bike packing, which is, yeah, just the combination of backpacking and, and mountain biking, basically. You just load up all your gear, all your camping stuff, some snacks, some, uh, some Trader Joe's wine, and, uh, and yeah, just, just bike on out. It's great. Super cool. So great time. That's, that's probably my, my number one uh, thing to do outside is, is bike packing, adventure cycling type stuff. Just, just going out there and exploring. You, you don't have to worry about mileage or, or your speed or your calories or stuff like that. You just pack up some snacks and hang out with some friends. It's, it's freaking awesome. So then I got into kind of more water stuff when I moved down to Florida, paddle boarding and sitting on the beach, <laughs> watching the sunnies, watching the sunset. Yeah, it's great. It's great stuff down here for sure. It's beautiful. There, and there's still hiking and, and stuff like that. There's there's mountain bike trails. And so I'm I'm pretty close to some two tracks that I can get out and, and ride my bike. So that's pretty great. Definitely not as much access as, as Michigan by any means, but it's still pretty cool. So we'll, we'll see if, if I, if my biking itch grows and I just have to get out of here. <laughs> we'll find out. So that's, that's pretty much my, my go-tos are, are that stuff. And then I also, I also do rock climb, but that's indoors usually. I don't usually do a whole lot of outdoor stuff. But it's really just about just trying new things and then figuring out what you like. It, at first, like I, I wasn't huge on rock climbing. Like I did it with my friends, and I got decent at it. And and it's it's I love the challenge and I love the fear factor of it because I hate heights. So so that's exciting. But what I love about it is the people that I've met along the way and that I will continue to meet. Like some of my best friends I've met through rock climbing. So. So you never know what what doors open up through these activities. Maybe they'll they'll merge into one, like with back pa- bike packing for me, or maybe they'll lead you to something else, or just lead you to good people. Yeah, you know, if I if I'm looking for something to do and I just want to be around good people, I just go to the local climbing gym because I know it's going to be a pretty great scene in there. So yeah, you know, you know, so you can find your activities that you like, of course, and they can be. Fast paced, more exercise, uh, whatever you like. Or if you like to slow down, do that as well. I definitely recommend slowing down a little bit so that you can take things in. You know, if you're hauling ass on a mountain bike, it's fun, but it's different, right? It requires a different intensity. And, and all I'm trying to say is that you don't have to be intense about about these things. We can we can choose to get all like super amped and just spend a bunch of money and, and, uh, (laughs) and just be the best of the sport. Right. Or, or we can just like take it easy, enjoy it and, and have fun and hang out with your friends and, and take in nature. So, so it's okay to slow down. And I actually recommend it a little bit. Yeah. Keep that in mind. So I actually put getting into nature as uh, as one of my areas to focus on for my consulting and so a lot of people are kind of taken back by that. They're like, whoa, like, does this really have a huge impact on, uh, on my footprint and stuff like that? Like, why is this in this consulting service? It's kind of weird. And what I say, and I'll just say to you, <laughs> is, is it's not, not so much about the, the impact per se, but, but it's more so about what it'll lead you to and how you'll benefit, right? It's, because I, that's kind of what I want to try and mix in is, is personal benefits, planet benefits, and then just just some some other stuff mixed in there too. So by being in the outdoors, we tend to learn to appreciate these things a little bit more. If we live our whole lives in a city and outdoors to us is like 
that little grass patch over there it's it's a it's a different life right and we we just we just don't really understand the the need for uh preserving wild places or preserving natural areas because we've never experienced it and so getting outside and just trying it out just a little bit even if it's just like 20 minutes or so it it builds this level of appreciation that makes us more motivated to to be better people for the planet for ourselves you know that feeling that we get when we're exercising breathing fresh air we feel good right or we feel tired like too tired and we're like whoa maybe i should exercise some more <laughs> so there's some benefits for sure and there's there's impacts that that we have on the planet through this and and everything like that i mean it it really just it starts this effect that that we'll be a little bit more conscious about things we'll be a little bit more motivated to to have these changes in our lives that i'm trying to push here for sure also in, in and of itself it creates a demand for these natural resources if we're showing up uh, people are recognizing that and if there's more traffic on trails people know that and if there's more cars parked there people know that so creating a demand lets our local government know and lets park service know that that people like this stuff and people want more of it so so that's a, that's a big impact for sure and then also just just by doing it ourselves our friends will become aware of, of us doing this and and they will probably notice uh, our lives being affected by it and they'll want some of that that magic nature <laughs> that magic pill of nature so yeah, it creates a little bit of a domino effect like that too and then also trees just like the company so that's a good impact <laughs> they like us they like us being around. <laughs> Uh, probably not. No, I just kidding. They probably do. You know, just being a part of something uh, bigger and and connected to something, it just it just feels good. And and uh, yeah, you build this relationship with with the natural world for sure. So how how do we get out there? Like, how do we start this? Well, I would I would start with figuring out like what's nearby. What, what's what's the closest thing to you? Because that's ultimately the best way is to figure out the easiest uh, form of of nature that's that's closest to you basically so so look on your maps on google maps or apple maps or whatever it's called and and look at those green areas or i mean a lot of a lot of places aren't even highlighted green so it might just take a couple of google searches of like natural parks or hiking near me or anything like that yeah natural forests and natural lands uh whether that be grasslands or anything else those are the best of course right those are the most wild and and natural and more beneficial to us and, and to the planet parks are next down the line i mean definitely not as good for the planet definitely not as diverse by any means but if that's all you've got if that's all that's nearby i think you'll you'll see some benefits to uh your life and then also, just just being out there too, it'll it'll feel good for sure. And you can do some more activities there too. So, so yeah, you can consider parks. REI has a has some great resources for sure. They they of course sell gear, but then they they have a lot of local resources for you, whether that be maps or trails, campgrounds. And then also expert advice for, for any questions you have on, on gear or how to get out there, or any tips or anything like that. And then also they have events to get you involved in the community. All the, like pretty much every community uh, has has a uh, event of some sort of different activities and everything like that that has an REI there. I think if there's not an REI in town, then maybe not. But maybe, I mean, there's definitely resources, so check it out. I'll definitely send, I'll definitely show you some some links below, absolutely. And and when you're considering moving or or considering getting a new apartment or considering, uh, you know, traveling around and stuff like that, fi figure out the nature access that, you, that you'll have and, and let that be a, a bit of a driving factor in, in where you move and where you settle and where you want to go yeah or you could just find someone's yard to to live in right 
<laughs> or to live near that has like a big yard you can just just hang out in and go camp or <laughs> fish in their pond for like their little goldfish that they planted in there <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I mean, I have, but hey, whatever. Uh, You can also ask me. I'm here. I'm here for you uh, with any questions that you have. I spent about seven or eight years in the outdoor retail industry. So I've been outfitting people on excursions, on little hikes, on watching their kids play soccer so they need a rain shell when it rains, like <laughs> anything, anything from from a quick hike uh, nearby to to hiking the base camp of Everest to summiting Everest. Yeah, I've talked to all those people. So so I've got variety. I've got experience on, on those sort of stuffs. And so if you have any questions with gear or how to start or or just how to do these activities in general, I've got got a lot of resources in my brain and then got a lot of tips for you. So, so I'm always here for you, of course. So I'm just trying to push people to, to just try it out, right? No matter what, what it is, just, just get outside. I mean, as long as, as long as you're not just like going out and cutting down trees and that's your activity, uh, <laughs> get out there, try something out and, and you never know where it'll lead you to, even if it's not super exciting in and of itself. Uh, grab some friends and and leave your speaker behind because no one no one fucking likes a <laughs> loud speaker on a hiking trail. Please don't. Thank you. Yeah, just try anything and and give it a shot. Just get out there. It doesn't have to be super complicated. It, you know, if you have like a decent pair of shoes that have sort of some traction and are semi comfortable, that's all you need. And then like a water bottle and some snacks and like a book bag or a purse. Just just take those and just go. Just walk in the woods or sit out there. Or if you need to be faster, you can run in the woods or bike or paddleboard or ski down a mountain or ski in the water. It's up to you. There's so many things that we can do. And so just, just give it a shot. And I mean, I, I'm trying to push this Nature Saturdays hashtag thing. Uh, oh, hashtag Nature Saturdays. <laughs> Yeah, it's just getting people out in, in nature at least once a week. And that can be anything from 20 minutes to, to 20 hours in nature, right? It can be anything. So, so it's just about showing up at least once a week and getting outside and doing what you can. Because we all live busy lives, of course. So it's kind of nice to have have one day dedicated to that. And hey, if you work retail or you're, I don't know, bartending or working on the weekends... You can do any day. You can just have your own day, and I'll be, I'll be supporting you. Even if you're doing hashtag Nature Mondays, I'll be like, hell yeah. <laughs> so yeah, give it a shot. I'll be out there. If you're if you're in Florida, let's go ride some bikes or or go hike, or I'll take you paddleboarding. <laughs> That's pretty much it. If if you enjoyed this episode, please share it around. Of course, if any friends would get value from this, or or they haven't even seen. A plant growing in the wild, maybe uh, maybe they could use this, and, and maybe they'll get motivated to give it a shot or get get confident in giving it a shot, right? So yeah, please share it around if you if you like this, and you can also stay updated on when new episodes and blog posts come out. Uh, I have like a weekly update email that comes out every Sunday, so it's like a morning paper, or it's like going to church on a Sunday morning. So. But you can you can decide whichever one you prefer. I mean, if you don't like church or you don't like that I'm calling it church and you're pretty offended, then just stick with the whole newspaper thing. <laughs> but I'm probably going to keep saying this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, just head over to weallcanchange.com and enter your email at the top of any page. And hey, thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a great day or evening or night or weekend. I'm heading to the beach, so I'll see you there. Take care.